What's up guys and welcome to episode two of Behind the Scenes. If you didn't catch the first episode, I'm gonna leave a link down below. Also remember, these are only every Monday, so make sure to subscribe if you like these behind the scenes types of videos. Today I'm gonna show you a trick that I like to do whenever I am shooting by myself. But first, we need to go get some sushi. lights on okay what's up buddy good okay so the idea behind this tutorial is that you're gonna watch me eat no I'm just kidding so what I do whenever I shoot by myself I like to have a little bit of camera shake and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I mean so right now you're seeing I don't know if I'm gonna do it on the left side or right side you're seeing the static shot right now and then on the other side you're seeing the camera shake even though there's nobody really shaking it the reason I like to do these shots is because it makes it more interesting Rather than having just a stationary, boring shot like you're watching right now, it's a lot more nicer to have it move a little bit. What? One second. So, I'm loading a project file. Man, this is some good sushi. In my last video, which I've been shooting by myself for a while, there are a couple shots where... I just had it on a tripod stationary. If you look really, really closely, and I'll show you guys, you can actually see it move a little bit. I like to use subtle movement. So this is a plugin by Rampart, I think, or Ramp Rampant. I don't remember the name. I'm going to leave it linked down below. It's specifically for Adobe Premiere, and they have different types of camera shakes. And these camera shakes were made ex exclusively for Premiere using a red camera. So it's going to give you... Ugh, that was that was not cool. Probably shouldn't eat while I talk, right? So it's going to give you this really accurate movement so that it looks like somebody was holding the camera. And that's the whole idea. So it gives you a nice, you know, more of a, we like to call it like the camera's floating. Okay. And there's different types of grades. Like for example, give me one second here while I load it up. Okay. So there's like, for example, really quick, there's like subtle camera shake, there's smooth, there's even like action ones where it just looks like it's all over the place, like maybe like an earthquake. There's a tourist, you know, I guess that's a, supposed to be a tourist moving the camera. There's like small drifts. Anyway, these I tend to use. I like the more subtle approach just to kind of give you a small little hint that it's moving, but not so aggressive that it's like all over the place. So I know a lot of you guys shoot on your own and a lot of times there's these stationary shots and they look fine. I mean, don't get me wrong, stationary shots are nice. But giving it that subtle movement, just I think it just adds more to the realism. Also, one thing to keep in, keep in mind is it does crop in a little bit because it, because it uses um, sort of like a script. It's actually called keyframing. So it keyframes the movement, but it expands it to about 105%. I think it actually depends on the type of movement that you want. So it actually... Um, reframes it a little bit so keep that in mind whenever you're shooting that it's actually going to you know expand a little bit because it needs to keyframe around i mean it's really cool um, i use it all the time whenever i'm shooting by myself so it looks like somebody's actually helping me shoot videos and i've actually shot my last 
like five videos on my own and you probably didn't even know that because I've been using this plugin and I've actually been using it for quite some time. Let me know if you guys like it. I mean, it's pretty inexpensive. I think it's like 29 bucks or something like that. I bought it a while ago. So um, yeah, that's your tip for uh, Monday. And stay tuned if you guys wanna see more tips like these behind the scenes uh, every Monday. And if you don't, then don't tune in on Monday. Thanks for watching and uh, catch you in the next one. Why are you still here? Oh, seriously. Are you gonna watch me eat all this? Seriously, why are you still here? Are you gonna watch me finish this? Oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. I'm gonna get back to work. Okay, so we can here. Yo, seriously, why are you still here? Like, close it out. Ah!